very difficult game, difficult pitch, difficult circumstances, but um, we have to do it the hard way. And uh, basically we did, so we are very happy. And uh, we are not there yet, no. I think the competition is just about to start. All right, thank you very much. Kindly the reminder that we keep our phones on silent. And um, if you want to ask a question, you raise your hand, your media, house, your name, and the question keeps. All right, let's give the microphone to the gentleman. Okay, Coach, uh, my name is Yakub Ibrahim from GH News. Uh, Jerry F3 is one gentleman in the last two games, he has scored two important goals for Ghana. Looking at his performance tonight, will you see he has cemented the place in the team now, going forward? As I said before, every player is important for us. Uh, we look at it game by game. Uh, Jerry is a very terrific uh, striker when he gets the opportunity. Uh, he helped us today. The only uh, clear chance that we got today, he had a credit for us. So, um, of course, it's very important player for us. Okay, um, the gentleman at the back in glasses. Coach, good evening. My name is Samir Wa from the Shaman FM. Three games, three different setups. Is it that you've not gotten your first 11 yet? We've got our first 11, uh, three games, three different opponents, three different formations. Um, that shows the flexibility of our team, that shows the quality that we've got. And that shows basically that we made the right selections, where we can change shape whenever we feel it's necessary, and it help us. And uh, this is our strength. Okay, um, please pass the microphone over to the lady in front. My name is Daniela from Nigeria, Nigeria Soccer Network. Coach, would you say um, the fans played a major role in your future today because um, you had the support of everyone who working for you guys? 100%. The fans have been amazing uh, since beginning of the tournament. Uh, we love them, we love to see them. They encourage the boys, they encourage us. And uh, we are happy, we are very happy that uh, they always come in their numbers and full of positivity. And uh, it was a very difficult game, and yes, indeed, they helped us today to the victory. Um, the gentleman at the back in black, I think. Please give the microphone here. Yeah. Hi, coach. My name is Niamh from Udu FM. All right, so, coach, I just want to ask in the first 10 minutes of the game, can you say that the boys were not over from the victory they got against Gambia because it looked like uh, complacency set in from the beginning of the game? Uh, not really, not really, because we knew we knew about the name, we knew that they were going to be very aggressive, they were aggressive from the beginning from, uh, of the game. And the boys were ready, the setup that we, we chose today, um, you know, the 11 that started today, we have, I mean, all of the squad is, is very hungry, all of the players, but we felt that this 11 uh, could kick, start the game on a very high intensive uh, way, and that's what happened. And it was it was quite difficult to find out really, because we felt that the opponent was uh, the park, the pitch didn't help it because the pitch is, was small, in our opinion, and playing against a, a team that's very aggressive, it makes it very difficult to play football, uh, especially when they are one marking us in the midfield. But uh, we grew into the game, and the chance that we got, um, we buried. So, I mean, despite the fact that we had a difficult start, I think we managed the game well. Okay, please let's give the microphone other things for the two gentlemen uh, asking their questions, please. My name is Albert from GBC. Um, second half, you sat back and uh, you were trying to cut a bit of noise on the counter. Was that the uh, strength of the team or was that an information that you came in with second half with? And then the, my second question is uh, from... One question each, please. One question All right. Thank you. Uh, we felt that uh, we needed to control the midfield more. Um, we were playing uh, with two holding midfielders and one attacking uh, midfielder. So we chose to go for three controlling midfielders. Why? Because we felt that uh, we were losing the duels in the first half. So I think we solidified the midfield and uh, with our attacking threats up front, it wasn't actually playing on the counter. We just wanted control over the game with and without the ball. That was the reason. Good. Uh, my name is Park I work with Accra FM. First game draw, second game win, third game win. Now you progress to the next stage. Is it good for Ghana? Good for Ghana? I think we qualify into the next round is good for Ghana. 
Game by game, game by game, we're very happy we qualify to the next round. Um, we're going to see who we come across, we're going to prepare the world. Um, so, for us to predict gold now is very difficult, but we're going to take the next game um, very serious and, and give our best and see where we'll take us. Okay, let's go ahead. Uh, so with your player, Aziz, you can see the guy is very good. I've got, I've got two Aziz. Okay, so there was this, uh, yeah, the short one. Yes, okay. So it's very good. Back home today, it was very attacked. So do you think there is something you can do for people to not be really attacked? Because he was getting hit more on the pitch. We are seeing him. A fever, a fever is generous. Yeah, Aziz, Aziz is an incredible player. Um, I think the opponent knew how dangerous he could be. So like I said before, the man marked us in the midfield and Aziz couldn't find the right spaces. Uh, also due to the fact that the pitch wasn't good enough, so we couldn't move the ball quite quickly enough um, in the first half. And despite that, I think he got moments in the game where it could have been decisive for us. But um, yeah, I mean, the next game, I'm sure we will see the best of Aziz. Isa. Please go ahead. Well, congratulations. Where I was watching a match from, somebody whispered to me. What's your name? I'm Mohamed Abdelmanik, African history system. The person told me, Jerry Afri, the first player to score officially at the University of Ghana Stadium. So, coach, Ofer, the first coach to win at the University of Ghana Stadium. How did you want the going to remember? It's not about me, it's about the boys. They work really hard. Um, they deserve the victory. Uh, it wasn't easy once again, uh, but the team that we've got, we've got an incredible team. Uh, hard working, very humble, and they are very hungry to succeed. Uh, they just needed the right opportunity, uh, as of any talent in this country, and we felt that these players were ready to represent uh, the National 20 at this level, at this tournament. And um, I'm really happy for them, and uh, Jerry works really hard. He's very humble, and uh, his future is, is very bright, so we're happy for him. Any more questions for Coach? All right, thank you very much. Um, this will be the post match press conference. But we also like to say a big thank you to Coach Desmond and good luck going forward. Thank you very much.